A social enterprise is a business that's been specifically set up to tackle a social issue. It trades, it makes profits, uh, and it's all about trying to create that social impact. What I would say a social enterprise is something that predominantly is social, but that involves the community. I thought I knew what a social enterprise is, but for me a social enterprise is a business that when you take away any of the extra government funding or anything that might help support the business, it can, it can self-fund and it can, it can kind of stay on its own two feet and operate as a business. And part of that um, profits of the business, um, at least more than 50% um, of the profit is going back into the business. So that's my understanding. Foundry is an artist collective in Bensdale in East Gippsland and we only stock wares that are made by people living in East Gippsland. Everything has to be handmade, everything needs to be sustainable and have an environmental model that kind of uh, benefits our ethos. Social enterprise is probably, well, in some respects the future of art. Uh, particularly visual arts, uh, with government funding to the arts um, being slashed all the time. Uh, I think we are put into a predicament where we really need to look beyond that funding. But the ideas are there and it has made me really think about, you know, working, working towards the, you know, into the future, how we could... I'm really keen to see this keep going, these kids' workshops, yeah, and that's really important to me. You do need to have a fair bit of drive and passion and got to have a different sort of perspective, I think. So our workshops happen over a two-day period. The first day is all about the business models that uh, social enterprise represents. So we, we talk about some of the governance, some of the, the legal structures, uh, some of the theories around how it operates. And then on day two, we get out in the field. So we visit all the social enterprises that are in and around your community and some of them you might not even know exist. They were really well attended by uh, a number of members of the community who came to it from all over our rather large municipality. And it was what we saw were people, the ideas that started to come out of people during the two days and how they could take this back to their communities or how they could work with some of their, some of the things, the projects they've been working with in their community to say, hey, this could be a social enterprise. The workshop was actually really good. Um, we brought together a range of people from all sorts of different parts of the community with different levels of experience about social enterprise and, and entrepreneurship and from different parts of, of um, the Shire. And the combination of um, interest that people had in understanding better social enterprise as well as looking at actual examples here in East Gippsland really meant that people got a really um, really intense exposure to the possibilities and some insight into what is already happening uh, in East Gippsland and across the world so yeah it was really insightful. Um, I was a bit unsure as to what to expect um, having now gone through it over a two-day uh, period um, they're a workshop that is designed, I think, to embrace all levels of, uh, of local government in, in the different departments that we work in, um, to actually get them to understand the structures of a social enterprise and how they can actually benefit the different areas of, of local government that we all work in. Social enterprises are really important in rejuvenating rural communities. The reason they're so important is that they're building social and economic capital together and they're bringing all of our leaders together to work on the same identified social issue. So whether you're a government leader, a community leader, a business leader or an educator, there's a role for you to play in starting to rejuvenate your community um, so they thrive in the future and also so young people see a great future in their town. I think one of the important things that I saw was all the different leaders that came from a lot of the smaller towns and communities into the, this workshop actually brought the municipality together saying, hey, we've got a lot of really great things uh, that we can achieve from um, our small towns and what we can, what sort of enterprises can be set up to assist people within our small towns. We actually got to go and look at some local examples of social enterprise in our area and it was really exciting just to see yeah, what had driven those people to kind of start operating a social enterprise and then some of the successes and challenges in operating one. So it was really, yeah, it was good with the, a bit of the theory and a bit of the practice as well. So it was good to kind of balance that together. 
It's really made me think about what the goals are for the future and where I want to be placing my energy. So is it in scaling up? Do we want to grow? Do we want to keep the same model, um, but just kind of push ourselves out there in the community a bit more so they know what we're doing? We've also found that young people uh, really want to embrace this stuff. They really see that there's not the jobs out there for them, so they're going to have to create their own. And we're starting to see some of the adults and the influences in communities start to recognise that, you know what, if, if we don't create that enabling environment for their ideas to turn into action, they might actually leave. And, and what, a, what, a, what a shame that's going to be for every community if the very lifeblood of the future leaves. We've had some great success so far. We've been right across Victoria. Uh, we're loving doing this work and we're seeing people love what, what's happening with social enterprise and its possibilities and we'd love to have you involved. So jump on board and, uh, and book your program. <laughs>